In this video we're making a simple sliding knot bracelet with barrel knot detail. This design has that barrel knot right in the centre and two sliding knots, one on each side, so that you can adjust the size of your bracelet. For our design today we're using 60cm of 2mm satin nylon cord and we're going to start by making our barrel knot for the centre. So just measuring along about 10 inches and then holding that 10 inch mark against my left index finger. Then we bring the right end of the cord around our finger four times to make four full loops around. Then we can gently bring these four loops off our finger. And with our tail end here, we bring this around and poke it down all four of our loops pulling it out the right hand side and gently working our knot down so it's nice and tight and tidy. We want this barrel knot to be in the centre of our cord so that we can have a nice even sliding knot bracelet. So I'm just checking my cords are nice and even by holding on to this barrel knot and following the cords to the other end. So I'll just snip that uneven end off so that we've got a nice even cord to start our sliding knot bracelet with. Now we want to lay our bracelet down on a table with the ends overlapping and the left side cord on the top. Now holding it in my left hand with this left side cord at the back, we just bring that over the front, down and out the back to form our first loop there. Then again, bringing it over the front, down and out the back to form our second loop. And then again for a third loop as well. Then with our little tail end here, we just bend that around and poke it down all three of our loops. Pulling it out the right hand side and gently working your knot down nice and tight. Now you should have one nice tidy sliding knot there. Now we can swap our bracelet onto the opposite side, holding it in our left hand with this left side cord at the back. And we bring that tail over the front, down and out the back to create our first loop. Then again over the front, down and out the back for our second loop. And then again for a third loop as well. Now once you've got your three loops, we can gently bring this tail end around, poking it down all three loops and pulling it out the right hand side. You want to work your knot down nice and gently and you're aiming for these tails that are coming out of the knot to be about the same size on both sides so that your bracelet is going to be nice and even with those sliding knots sitting on each side and that barrel knot in the centre. You can retie your knots if you need, but if you're happy with them and they're in the right position, then just pull them nice and tight. Then you can check your sliding mechanism, make sure it's all sliding okay. And if you're happy with the positions of everything, then you can go ahead and cut the tails off. I leave about a centimetre outside the knot and then singe the end as well so it doesn't fray. There's your simple sliding knot bracelet with barrel knot detail. <laughs> 